Hi, I'm Alex. The team and I have worked on using machine learning to predict what school grade a student is in based on the poem written by them. In this project, we try to classify poems written by children from grades 2 to 8. We explore and compare traditional and deep learning approaches to text classification and try to determine the viability of classifying poems into specific grades. Our project contributes to the fields of language education and development, and it differs in several ways from existing work. Rather than giving an approximate age range of a student based on a poem, we hope to classify students into specific grades. We're also attempting to classify children's poetry, which has never been done before. If successful, this project could be developed into a tool for benchmarking students' writing. If the classifier predicts someone as older, it raises suspicions of plagiarism, or it may be a sign that a student has a high caliber of writing. If the classifier predicts someone as younger, it could be a sign that there are certain issues in that person's language development. Lastly, this could also be a use, useful learning tool for young writers or non-native learners of English. So can you guess which poem is written by an older author? How did you guess it? You might notice that poem 2 is longer, has more complex words like instinct, and emotional words like hatred. It's thus more likely to be written by an older author. My group explored some of these features when building our predictive model. We reasoned that as the grade increases, words used should be rarer and rare, less frequent, average word and sentence length should also increase, and there should also be an effect on valence, arousal, and dominance, which are emotional scores associated with words. We attempted two different ways of representing our poems. The document vector approach involves encoding a poem as a long vector, where each entry represents a frequency score for each word. The feature vector method involves using various features such as average word length and valence. We then pass these poems into various traditional classification algorithms like Naive Base, SVM, and Random Forests. We found that the document vector approach performed slightly better, but it was still not great. Hence, we tried building more complex models using neural networks. We turned to a deep learning approach. Specifically, a recurrent neural network design with long short-term memory is known to perform well in text-based classification problems. On a high level, think of it as though we are feeding the network words in a sequential manner. Each layer combines the incoming words with knowledge of past ones in order to output an educated classification of the overall text. We found that neural network approaches predict grades closer to the true grades, although they face some problems as well. In conclusion, our models have achieved moderate levels of predictive accuracy. We feel that although there are broad trends that distinguish grades that are far apart, there is a lot of overlap between similar grades and variation within a single grade, which makes precise classification difficult.